Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a compilation of some of my favorites to use during the fall and winter months for pampering and spa days. Today was a cooler, gloomier day, and there was no school today for either of my boys, but they did have little coughs, so I wanted to make sure they got a nice long nap. And when they went down for nap, I thought I'd take advantage of the gloomy day inside and do a little pamper session and then film it for my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Even if I don't have time for a full pamper session, I always love tea, especially when the weather starts to cool down. I mean, I love tea year round. And this Harvest Blend from Trader Joe's, it's a caffeine-free herbal tea. So I've been going for caffeine-free lately. It's been just perfect. And it has those really beautiful aromas and tastes that we love during the fall and winter months. And I've been a fan of tea for as long as I could remember, my best friend Hannah used to come over and she would come over after church and we would drink hot tea and watch Titanic and it was super cozy and we always looked forward to the fall months. And uh, I just, tea always is such a cozy, wonderful feeling. So I love having a cup of tea almost daily. And then spa waters, of course, I've shared before on my channel. This one is especially nice during the fall months. It's just water and ice, apples and cinnamon, and you just let that infuse into the water and it's a really beautiful fall spa water. For me, I do burn candles year round, but especially during the fall and winter months, I burn the pumpkin spice candles or the warmer scents, and then I love to burn the fresh scents, especially as we get closer to Christmas. I'm always experimenting with different skincare treatments, and if I'm gonna be doing a fall spa pamper day, I always mention on my channel I like to do a facial steam, and the nice thing about a facial steam is that it's not just for your skin, it's actually really great for your respiratory system, and especially around this time of the year when everybody's starting to get a little sick and a little under the weather. Like I said, my boys have coughs, so, so there's a good chance I might have a cough soon here in the next few days. This is a combination of sweet, spicy, woodsy, and warming herbs. We have some eucalyptus leaf, we have some juniper berries, some thyme, orange peel, and I like to dry herbs, not only from my garden, but I like to collect herbs from different herbal stores if I'm not growing them myself. And then put that into very, very hot water and just place your head just above it. It's gonna work even better if you put a towel over your head and then just breathe that in. And not only is it good for your skin, again, but it's great for your respiratory system. I'm trying out this pumpkin spice face mask. My first time trying out this, this is also from Trader Joe's. It was pretty thick. It felt more like a cream instead of a gel, which normally face masks, these types of sheet face masks feel like, but I decided to try it out because, you know, I'm a sucker for anything pumpkin spice. Also a really easy all over body pumpkin scrub that's great for the fall months it is very easy to make with just brown sugar, canned pumpkin, and just a tiny bit of pumpkin spice. You can mix this together. You can add honey as well. You can use this all over your body. You can use it on your face as a mask or your body as a scrub. You could use it on your feet or your hands. It's really great for all over the body. Usually I like to use these types of things in the shower, but for today I'm just gonna use it at the very, very end of my bubble bath right before I'm getting ready to get out. For my bubble bath, I'm using a bubble bar from Lush. Now I have to apologize because I think it was last year or the year before, I had gotten one of these for the first time and I honestly didn't read when I got it and I thought it was a bath bomb and I just threw the whole thing in the bath. That's not how you get the best use out of a bubble bar. So I actually break it in half or in quarters and then you just kind of break it underwater and then you'll get this really beautiful bubble bath. Oftentimes I will take a bath in complete silence if I get the chance to do so, or I like to get a good book or some good music. I use this app called Overdrive, and it's basically where you can rent from the library on your phone. You can either listen or read on your phone, and I'm currently reading a Dave Ramsey book, but he's more of something I like to listen to when I'm driving, when I'm in the school pickup line, or when I'm driving long distances. Also with the Overdrive app, a lot of times you have to wait for books. So you have to wait for certain books and then you can only keep them for a certain amount of time. So I use Audible for books that I wanna keep or that I wanna go back to and listen to again. I listened to a few minutes of a book called Loving What Is and then I decided to listen to some music. 
I'm pouring myself some of the infused water and then you can also go on Pandora and I like to type in just autumn and then a really nice playlist of autumn jazz will come on and it's perfect for bath time. So relaxing. So after a little bit of a soak and listening to music, I'm gonna put some of my homemade body scrub slash mask on my face and I'm gonna let that sit, just massage it a little bit. And then at the very end of my bath, I'm going to massage my legs and my arms with it and then just wash it off in the bath and get right out. I don't like to do it at the beginning because I don't like to sit in the sugar. Ideally, like I said, I would normally do this in the shower where I could wash right down the drain. But today I'm just doing it at the very end of my bath, which you can definitely do as well. And then I'm just going to get out and I'm going to put some body cream, body butter. This is the pumpkin body butter from Trader Joe's, which actually last year, it didn't smell as good as it smells this year. I feel like they switched up the formula and it is absolutely amazing. I just kept sniffing myself. It smelled so, so good. Um, and it's like $4. So definitely a must have. And then I'm gonna give myself a little pedicure. I'm gonna go darker in the fall. I'm always going darker with makeup. I'm even gonna dye my hair a little darker. I'm just gonna go a few shades darker to have a deep brunette. And then I like to go dark on my toes and my nails if I paint my nails. This is a nail polish that I got from Marc Jacobs, I think for Christmas. It's a pretty expensive nail polish and honestly, it's not one of the better nail polishes ever, but I do think the color is pretty. So I'm gonna paint my toenails and then then I'm going to have to get ready for my kids to get up because they're not going to sleep for too much longer. Um, but I did get a chance to film a video and have a little pamper session. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make time to do this for yourself because I know sometimes things get crazy, but if you could just take a half hour out for yourself and try out some of these fun fall goodies uh, next time you have a little pamper session. Um, I hope you will enjoy them as much as I enjoy them. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.